Hi, people. How do I even start this vlog? Do I want to start this vlog? Should I start this vlog? Anyway, let me talk before my AC kicks in. Um, today is September 1st. I'm having a total knee replacement on September 8th. And I'm thinking about doing a vlog on as much as I can with the surgery and everything because I'm doing things a little bit unconventional. I have nobody here. I have no help. And I know like people are going to post down below, oh, I would help you. Like this isn't a video like to cry, I'll cry for help or attention or whatever. I'm just going to do a vlog on my journey, total knee replacement. I had to beg people to pick me up from the hospital. So having surgery in a city where you know nobody, it's not a good idea. I'm smoking my last cigarette. I'm like, do I want to just keep the cigarette around? And just, like in the back of my mind, I always have a cigarette here. But no, no, no. After surgery, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy cigarettes. I'll be fine. I don't know if I'll be fine in the morning. Because I work for a daycare and yeah. So here's the deal. I have this insurance through a county hospital, right? Yes. I have insurance through a county hospital, so the surgery, I don't know, it's, it's just so different from when I was in Wisconsin because I go in for these pre-op, you know what, I shouldn't smoke this while I'm talking because I'm going to waste my last cigarette. I go in for pre-op on the 7th, so I'm not even going to know what time my surgery is until, I won't know the time until the 7th. I won't know till the day before, which sucks. Um, I was going to take off work this whole week before to like prepare and shave and uh, grocery shop and cook food and prep and all that stuff. And my job, even though they had four months notice, still has nobody to replace me. And I drive a daycare van that picks up the kids after school, right? I go to seven different schools. What are they gonna do with all these children? if they can't find a ride or a driver, not a ride. Um, but again, not my problem, but my boss is one of the people that are picking me up from the hospital craziness. So now I don't have this whole week to prepare. But my boss did bribe me a little bit. He's like, well, if all you need to do is, you know, clean your house, what if I, you know, pay for somebody to come clean your house? I was like, fine with me, because I don't want to clean it anyway. Um, so that's happening Saturday. Today is Wednesday, the 1st of September. So I technically, I still need to do my hair. and I, I was going to braid my hair, but... I think what I just I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna wear this for like two months. Every appointment I go to, I'm gonna be wearing this hat or something, wrapped it, wrapping it up. Um, but I do need to twist my hair, shave my legs, go grocery shopping, clean the house, uh, prepare my car. I just wanna you know make sure I have gas in the car and stuff like that. I'm trying to get food that 
it doesn't need a pot or a pan. So I'm going to be eating a lot of carbs. I have been trying to avoid carbs this whole time. Um, but when I do my pre-op appointment, I will give you like all the details, my, my weight, everything prior to surgery. And you know what? I should ask them, how much does this weigh? Is it going to weigh different than a bone? And how do they get, how do they cut it just right so that you're still the same height? Do you know what I mean? Because if you're bone on bone, you're missing that cartilage and I don't know. Do they take that all into account or do they not? Like, and what do they do with the bone? Do they throw it away? Do they cremate it? Do they say a little prayer? and bury it somewhere or do students get to like use my bone for something I don't know do they cook it and eat the marrow these are the things that I think of at 2:24 in the morning I don't sleep I have to take sleeping pills to sleep like I'm so stressed I tried to take an antidepressant and that gave me like severe side effects. So I can't even take that. There goes my AC. So that's my cue to stop the video because there's going to be all that noise. Um, but this is just like the introduction to my knee replacement and stay tuned and I'll try to vlog a little bit. I have to find the battery and my GoPro. And I opened it to charge it, and there's no battery in it. I don't know what I did with the battery. So when I clean the house, hopefully I will find the battery to the GoPro. And um, you guys will come along on this journey. Catch you in the next clip.